Hi guys, I'm Abhinav. I'm here at the ABR Festival in the UK. I'm here at the Royal Enfield stall. I have George with me. George is one of the senior designers. Hi George, at Royal Enfield. And I just want George to tell us a little bit about what he worked on the motorcycle. Hey George, how are you doing? Hello Abhinav, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So George, there's a bike here. Yep. Can you just tell us? what your role has been in contributing to the value of it. Of course I can. So um, I'm a senior design engineer on the chassis side of product development. So um, my specific role, I was in a team of about 13 people um, and we develop as a team everything less the engine really. So um, my specific responsibility was a lot of the plastic bodywork. Um, so things like the front mud guard assembly, the upper front mud guard, uh, the sump guard, the hugger and some of the rear body work was, um, you know, I work very closely with uh, Steve Everett and once he's kind of styled the bike how he wants it to be, we then as a, as a design team go through and uh, make it work, you know. So we start off with concept surfaces and kind of work out how we're going to get it in and out of a tool, look at our bolted joint arrangements, make sure that everything is able to be bolted to the bike in a way that works, uh, make sure those joints stay good for the life of the vehicle. You know, we go then go through a testing cycle and make sure that um, our calculations were correct. You know, so we right. we spend a few years scheming everything, working out how to get it in our tools, doing prototype builds, and and working out kind of things that work, things that didn't, changing the design where we can to make it work, and uh, and then follow the bike all the way through to production. Really, right. So, so some of, what are some of the challenges that you face while designing this particular motorcycle? Uh, there are so there are challenges the whole way through. You know, we uh, we spend five years developing from from con early concept work and trying new things and the uh, we end up with a bike that, that works you know I remember very specifically coming into the business and uh, the first thing I was told is that I needed to develop a, a plastic sump guard that worked structurally right so the uh, the nylon sump guard that we have now right. is uh, is a structural plastic plot really um, we had uh, a lot of a lot of other manufacturers use uh, a lot of bracketry underneath the sump guard right. to reinforce that area um, and then just have a plastic finishing panel but the intent that we wanted to try and achieve was to achieve structure in the plastic itself so there was a lot of work with um, firstly doing hand calculations and, right. and working out you know to what would a what would a plastic sump guard have to withstand to, to define it as structural and then once we defined that it was a process of kind of going on and creating form in the part and, and working out how we uh, how we kind of develop that structure in a way that can be in the plastic rather than in any other metal components. Obviously metal components are a lot heavier yeah. and you know if you're looking at it from a cost perspective it, it costs more. The more components you add to a motorcycle the more it costs right so if you can if you can simplify it and introduce structure in, in clever ways right. then you end up with a more premium product for a, a price point that everyone can enjoy which is yeah. you know something we've really tried to achieve with this bike this is a really quality premium product and you know it's really it's market leading there's, yeah. there's not a lot that does the dual sport like this you know you've, you've had to go on the bike yourself haven't yeah. I've seen some yeah. of your videos you know you're in, I can see you're enjoying it as oh, yeah. you know it, it's a really quality thing and we've also got to appeal to the to the mass market and make sure it's affordable because and that's that's kind of brand Royal Enfield, right? That's that's something that's part of our USP, is that you can afford to go and buy these bikes brand new and enjoy them. So, yeah, places like that where you can, where you can save on your raw materials and your and your components and develop parts that work just as well by using kind of unconventional thinking is is really cool. So yeah, I remember doing a lot of testing with the sump guard. Um, that was quite exciting. I really enjoyed that. Got to do a lot of destructive testing, yeah. you know, so, some rig testing stuff. Yeah, some guard can take a lot of bashing. Oh yeah, it, it's um, it's for for a standard OE part, you know, the uh, it is designed in a way that you can use the bike and it will protect the bike. Yeah. So yeah, we've we've had the the bike bottomed out in testing and it, it didn't fail or cause any other damage. So we're pretty pleased with it. Right. That was. Since you work a lot with plastics, yeah, was a plastic fuel tank ever considered? Um, you know, like like all these things are discussed. It's not really, you know, it's part of part of our brand and our image that we still use a lot of metal, right. and you know, metal is, is sturdy, <laughs> and and uh, yeah, we a plastic fuel tank 
you know, they are there are plastic fuel tanks out there. Um, it was never really on our radar. Okay. Um, but you know, that's not to say that in the future, you know, it depends yeah. depends what we're developing product wise as to whether or not it's appropriate. Right. But yeah, it wasn't wasn't for this model. No. What is the one part on the motorcycle that you're most proud of that you helped develop? There's a lot. There's a lot of things. I, I spent six months last year working in in Chennai on secondment, and I had a, had a really lovely time. And a lot of that was working not just to, to deliver my components, but to deliver the whole product. You know, and I, I worked in some amazing cross-functional teams with some really awesome people, and you know the, the guys in the production. You know, to make it's one thing making a motorcycle, but to make a motorcycle that you can, you know, build repeatedly and methodically. You know. There's a there's a lot of work that goes into that and, right. and communication as to, you know, what's what's possible within our current processes, where we right. need to develop new processes. So a lot of my role wasn't just involved in the parts, it was involved in the the people and the processes. And I'm you know, I'm just as proud of how many bikes we've built as my individual parts, you know, right. because that's a that's a much bigger team effort. Of course. So of course. Thanks. Thanks, man. It's all right. No, thank all you right. for chatting. It's lovely to meet you. All right. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye.